I was so depressed because I was like, I was at number nine at the time on sacks, and I knew I wasn't playing no more. I needed eight sacks. I had 15 games to get eight sacks, so I was just depressed. And when I said I got depressed, it was not going nowhere. When I came back and I got that concussion, and they told me I was bleeding on both sides of my brain, I was ready to go. Like, I, I didn't even want to be here no more, bro. I did things like, I did a lot of self-mutilation. I, I used to hit my head against the wall and stuff. Because they said if I get hit in the head again, I might die. I used to do stuff on purpose to try to hurt myself, man. Like, I, I did, like, all kind of crazy stuff, and I never knew why I was doing it. But let's say if I came to your house one day. Yeah. I come to your house, next thing you know, you might see me in somebody else's house. Like, literally, like, I might be at your next door neighbor house, sleep on the porch or something. I woke up on a peach tree one day, and a cop woke me up and said, Mr. Abraham, you all right? Yeah, so I didn't know how I got there. So my life was like that for the first two or three years. But it was just like I couldn't get right. You know what I mean? I didn't want to be around people. And, and if I did, like, I would be the kind of person that we was out. It, everything triggered me, bro. I was bro, triggered being everything. out with you, people was scared of you, man. 